So you wanna know how to put your text behind objects, kinda of like this, or maybe like this, or maybe even like this one. Today I'm gonna to show you a few different methods that you can use to put text behind objects. I'm gonna show you ways to do it in the free version, in studio, in fusion, as well as in the color tab. All right, so the first option here, we've got the Statue of Liberty. I want some text to appear behind the Statue of Liberty. Now I'm assuming you've got the free version, so here's how we can do it in the free version. The first thing you need to do is have your clip in your timeline. Then we need to add some text on a layer above that clip. So I've already got some text made here. It says New York City. Maybe I'll adjust it a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Now the next thing we need to do is take our clip and make a copy of it and drag it up above our layer with the text. So I'm just gonna use Option or Alt on a PC and drag up that clip. So now I've got one clip on top of another clip. Now what we need to do is create a mask on this clip so that the Statue of Liberty will appear in front of the text. So to do that, we're gonna jump into the color page. So I'm gonna have my clip selected, jump into the color page here. Now, if you have the free version of Resolve, you're gonna to have to do this manually. Studio is gonna give you a way faster and easier way to do this, which I'll show you in a minute here. But if you are in the free version, you need to come to a node, right? Select your node. We wanna make sure we're in our Power Windows section here and come down and we're gonna use our pen tool and we're basically going to trace over the object that you want to be in front of your text. So in this case, it's gonna be the Statue of Liberty. So I'm gonna do a quick trace over job here. Obviously the more careful you are, the better it's gonna look. I'm just gonna do it quickly here. All right, so I've selected my object here and now because the image is moving, right? We can see it's moving. I wanna track this. So in order to do that, I'm gonna come over to my tracker tab right here. I'm gonna select that. I wanna track the clip and I'm just gonna hit go forwards and backwards. And you may even wanna click on the interactive mode here. Go ahead and track it. Now you can see when I did the tracking here, mine didn't work out so good, right? It worked good for a little bit, but then as the video got a little farther out, it didn't work out so good. So this is one of the things with the free version that's gonna make it a lot more time consuming to do something like this. You may need to change to frame and keyframe or move these things as you go frame by frame. Or you may just need to move all of the points manually. So that's gonna take you a lot longer in the free version than if you have studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset this node here and get rid of all those points. Now, if you have studio, here's how you can do it really quick and easy. I wanna come into my magic mask. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out to where the Statue of Liberty is shown a little bit more there. In my magic mask section here, I'm gonna make sure I have object selected. And now I'm just gonna come and draw over the Statue of Liberty. Now you can change the options on your magic mask here if you want, I'm gonna choose better. And then I'm just gonna hit this button right here to track it forward and backwards. Now, if I wanna know if it's selected the right thing or not, I can come over here and toggle on my mask overlay. And once I do that, we can see it turns red and it looks like everything's selected that I want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just hit track forward and backward so that the selection of the Statue of Liberty is gonna be selected throughout the length of my clip. Now the tracking may be quicker, it may be a little bit shorter, depends on the length of your clip and the detail that you're trying to track and stuff like that. So give Resolve a minute and uh, you should get a good track of your object. So once the track is complete, next thing we need to do is come up to our node area and we need to make this selection a mask. And in order to do that, what we can do is right click, come down to add alpha output. And now we just need to connect the blue here to our output. And if we turn on and off our mask here, we're gonna see what the output is gonna be. So that's with our mask turned off and that's exactly what we want for this particular clip. So now we can jump back into the edit tab and if I move ahead in my timeline a little bit, we can see, we see the background right here with this clip. We see our text, and then we've got the Statue of Liberty over top of the text. Now, if you want the text to move and do different things, that's another story, you can do that. But just for your basic put text behind stuff, this is how you can do it. And there we go, as the shot rotates around, our text hangs in the background there, and the Statue of Liberty appears in front of the text. 
In this next example here, check this out. This is another way that we can do it using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So in this case, I've got a picture, a video of the city here. It says New York City in the background. It's kind of the text is appearing behind the buildings. Well, this one is pretty easy to do. If we jump into the color tab for this, what we need to do on our top clip is just select the sky, right? So all I did was come to my qualifier. I selected the sky. You can make adjustments as you need to. If you need to add some colors or you want to use some of the, the pre-filters or the clean blacks, you know, you adjust it so that you're selecting the part of the image that you want. In this case, the sky. Then we're going to go ahead and add our alpha output right here. Connect up our blue um, connector to the alpha output. And now you can see that the sky is being masked out. So when we're back in the edit tab and I have that clip on top, we see our text looking like it's behind the buildings here. So that's another easy way that you can do it right here in the free version, just by selecting the colors of the objects you wanna mask out. Now, obviously that's gonna depend on your clip. Is that gonna work or not? It's clip dependent, right? In this case, the sky was all the same color. The rest of the video clip was a different color, so it worked out fairly easily. But you can use any selection method that you want to select objects in your image, mask it, and then you can do the same kind of thing here to get your text to appear behind an object um, in the edit tab. Now I've got two more similar examples here. So let's just go through one of them and we're gonna do it in the fusion page this time because maybe you need to jump into fusion, use some more of the tools that are there for you. But let's go ahead and do that with this clip. So I'm gonna select my clip. I'm not gonna make a copy of it this time. I'm gonna jump right over into fusion. And the first thing that I wanna do is add some text. So I'm gonna select my median one, gonna add in some text and it automatically adds in a merge node for me. So in my text, let's put some text in here in the video. Let's call it film camera because that's a film camera. So now I want my text to appear behind just the camera. So in order to do that, we don't need to make a second copy of our clip in the edit page because we can do it right here. So if I select my median one, Commander Control C, select off of that clip and then Commander Control V, it pastes a copy of it for me. If I wanna merge it on top, we're gonna to go ahead and drag our output over top of the output of the merge, and it's gonna add another merge for us. So I'm just gonna move up my median one there. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can make your selections. You can use a whole host of different tools here. You can use any of the drawing tools, um, but what I'm gonna use because I do have Studio is the Magic Mask. Now, if you don't have Studio, you're probably gonna to need to draw it using polygons and then use a tracker. Um, and track your object, similar to how we did in the color page. But in this case, I'm gonna use the magic mask since I have Studio and it's that much easier. By I'm gonna open up my tools here with shift space bar. I'm gonna search magic mask, I'm gonna say add. Now with my magic mask, I'm gonna select it, come over to my inspector. I can leave all of the settings here at their default for now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few selections over top of my camera. And just like that, the text is already behind the camera. But I do wanna track the camera here in this case, so I would then come and use the track forward and track backward, so the camera gets tracked. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. So now my track is complete, and if I just kinda of scroll through my clip here, you'll see that the text looks like it also appears on the floor here, so I would probably wanna add that into my magic mask there and then rerun the tracking just so that way the text stays behind everything, right? So if I back up a little bit here, we're gonna go ahead and make sure our stroke mode is on add, go like that. Let the magic mask think and do its thing and you can see it added it in there. And just to make sure we're not selecting any of the background, I'm gonna do subtract, select the background, track everything forward and backward again. Now you can see on the screen there, our text is going behind the floor that's there, right? Which is what we would want. It's going behind the other objects. Obviously we can clean this up and make it look a little bit better, but you get the idea of how we can do it really quick and easy here in Fusion using the magic mask. And again, if you don't have the magic mask, just go ahead and use some of the uh, drawing tools, the polygons maybe, the circles, whatever you need to create the shapes you need so that you've got a good mask. And we can always change the text if we need to, make it bigger, do whatever. Whatever you need to do, you can do it. When you're done, you jump back into the edit tab and boom, there you go. Your text is behind your objects there. So really quick and easy to add some text behind objects, add a little interest to your videos there. It's not hard, you can do it in the free version, you can do it in studio, but just a fun little technique here that you can use if it works in your particular videos. 
All right, with that said, that's a quick lesson. Little free, little studio, little fusion, little color page, a little bit of everything here to get some cool text in DaVinci Resolve. All right, that wraps up this one. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.